Hi everyone, my name is Renu Nathan. I am a pharmacist at UMass Memorial Medical Center and my role is the solid organ transplant pharmacist. For this presentation I will be talking about therapeutic updates, best practices, and barriers to care in the treatment and prevention of kidney transplant rejection. I have no disclosures to report and I will be talking about drugs off of their FDA labeled indications. The objectives of this presentation is to formulate a treatment regimen on a patient-specific basis considering comorbid conditions, likelihood of immunogenicity due to mismatched HLA profiles, and the occurrence of adverse events. Describe the appropriate steps to take when acute rejection is suspected and apply them to patient cases. Identify the various treatment combinations that are employed for the prevention and treatment of kidney transplant rejection. Recall the recommendations that are in place within the current guidelines for kidney transplantation and differentiate between induction therapy, short-term, and long-term maintenance options and apply them to patient cases. There is an increased number of patients on the kidney transplant waiting list, but unfortunately this has been accompanied by a shortage of organs that are available for transplantation. This increase in demand but decrease in supply has led the transplant community to use maybe non-pristine kidneys, so kidneys that maybe they would not have used in the years prior. So these kidneys might be from older donors or have seen more ischemic time. So there is an increased need to classify um, these type of uh, cadaveric kidneys because uh, these kidneys are at an increased risk of complications such as delayed graft function and rejection. Since this presentation is focused on prevention and treatment of rejection, I would like to start off by reviewing the risk factors for rejection. So patients with a high PRA or panel reactive antibodies, these patients are highly sensitized because they've been exposed to different antigens in the past. So these patients are those who've undergone multiple pregnancies, multiple blood transfusions, and have been retransplanted. And of course, the next part of it is the quality of the organ, which I've already touched upon a little bit, but I'll go into a little bit more detail in the next couple of slides about how exactly the quality of the organ can affect rejection. The next part is, of course, HLA typing. The increased number of HLA mismatches between the donor and the recipient, there is an increased risk of acute antibody-mediated rejection. Patients, of course, that are being retransplanted because of the antigens they've been exposed to in the past. African Americans seem to have a higher risk of rejection. Another part of it is the enzymes that are key in breaking down immunosuppressant drugs. So there seems to be some heterogeneity in the population, especially a key family of enzymes, the CYP3A4 enzymes, that are critical in metabolizing cyclosporin and tacrolimus. So these enzymes can affect drug absorption. The same amount of immunosuppression that works for one person might be overkill for another person. There's, of course, modifiable risk factors that are like compliance that are absolutely essential to preventing rejection. HLA typing uh, before the transplant continues to be a key step in preventing antibody-mediated rejection. So knowing the number of HLA mismatches provides information regarding risk for antibody-mediated rejection before the transplant, and then quantifying the antibodies against the HLA system, which I'll go into a little bit later on, quantifying it and following it throughout the life of the allograft can help us guide when rejection might happen. There are some patients that we see who have the allograft under biopsy shows evidence of antibody-mediated rejection, but unfortunately they don't show antibody levels against the HLA system, So, which leads us to believe that these antibodies are directed against a different class of antigens. 
that's where the polymorphic meets.